Hello, my name is Doug Schuster, and the focus of my talk today is how we strive to provide sustainable data curation services at the National Center for Atmospheric Research. A little bit of background on what the National Center for Atmospheric Research is. It was established by the U.S. National Science Foundation in 1960 to provide the atmospheric and related earth system science with state-of-the-art resources, one of which includes extensive data sets. It's comprised of seven labs that cover a breadth of research topics in the earth system sciences. So how do we support sustainable data curation in NCAR? Really the focus is collaboration between PIs and data repositories during the project proposal phase. So NCAR has a repository ecosystem that includes multiple repositories. These include repositories to support large complex observations and model data outputs, small simple data sets, which is more of a general purpose repository, a repository to support field campaigns that are supported by NCAR, and then finally a repository to host the data holdings collected at NCAR's solar facilities. So PI has a number of choices when they're developing a project. Recently, NCAR has developed a policy that asks PIs to submit requests for repository support at the project proposal phase. Once that request is submitted, an evaluation team makes a recommendation on what repository is best suited to support that project and provides a data management services budget that covers the repository support as part of the proposal. If a proposal is funded, the PI is put in contact with the repository that will host their data, and they work with a specialist from that repository to structure their, exp their experiment such that data can be streamed directly into the repository once the experiment's complete without having to restructure the data after the fact. In terms of opportunities and challenges, one big challenge is who pays for repository data management preservation services to support open access expectations. Not all funders have budgetary mechanisms available to support this in proposals. Another challenge is for simulation output that tends to lose value, what needs to be preserved and for how long? And that is a project that's being worked on through a link that's provided on this page. And then finally, for big data, simple data transfer to end user systems no longer scalable. Researchers at NCAR are lucky because they have high performance computing co-located with that data that can be petabytes in volume across NCAR repositories. So one question we're looking at is how can we democratize compute access to the NCAR repository holdings? So thank you for your time. We look forward to everyone else's presentation. 